After spending all winter and some of spring in the desert, I was so ready to see the coast again. Although it was beautiful, productive, and healing in its own ways, I definitely began to feel a bit crazy being landlocked for so long. I keep coming to this point where I feel burnt out from the road and I find a solution, but it ends up just being a temporary solution. I kind of feel like I've just been putting band-aids on the wound and not really addressing what might be causing the wound. In a way, it feels like going to the coast was just another band-aid. While I was so relieved to see the ocean and hear the waves again, I still was struggling to exist in my tiny space and just keep a routine and keep healthy. I knew van life wasn't sustainable for me long term. I just didn't really expect to feel this way right now. While I've certainly had my fair share of breakdowns on the road, living this way has allowed me to explore more for less money and oftentimes has left me feeling this way. <laughs> I've grown in ways I never would have been able to had I stayed put. I've also gained a lot of confidence in being alone. Van life has been a vessel for my career as a photographer, allowing me to spend more time in each place and really tap into my creative side. And it's connected me to some amazing souls. Also, the greatest time to be on the road is in the summer, and I have so many adventures planned. When I sit down and look at it all, it feels really hard to walk away. And maybe I don't want to walk away. 
It's just everything feels a bit meaningless right now. It isn't so much about just exploring places anymore, but rather what I want to accomplish this year. I know by now not to wallow in the past, but I wasn't quite prepared for how difficult it was to balance the present and the future. How much mental energy it takes to really be present and enjoy this part of your chapter, but also be working towards something else. I don't exactly know what that something is yet, but I suppose I'll figure it out like I always do. Okay, something I was not prepared for was, or something that I just wasn't thinking about was the change in the climate. I've obviously been on the coast before, but like, I just was so used to having full sun every day that it's been a struggle to keep enough power and motivation, because when the sun isn't out, I'm not either. I'm legitimately just chilling in a parking lot at a park across from the highway. You could probably hear. It's not the best, but I've got everything charging, including myself. I feel like the first part of this video was pretty emotional so I want to invite some lighter energy into it because overall living on the road was the best decision I made finding myself like invalidating how I'm feeling because I'm living a life people dream about living or somebody has it worse than me whatever the reason may be it's not really about that this right now th these feelings are because I'm changing, because the park ranger just drove by and he looked at me while I was filming and now I'm self-conscious. <laughs> I'm changing as we're supposed to and that's okay. And as we change, our needs change and that's okay too. I keep fixating on the fact that like I told myself I was going to do this and I was going to, you know, make it and whatnot. And I don't feel like I've made it. So if I got off the road, it would feel like quitting. But it's not. Like, it's silly. I need to honor myself and my body as it changes and enjoy the process of every part of it. Or at least that's what I've come to realize. And you know what? There's a huge part of me that just wants to delete everything and disappear and live a quiet life in nature, tending to my garden, living off the land, and maybe one day I will do that. But right now, this is my journey and I need to be present with it and cherish this time of my life because it could change very quickly. Voices now inside and we're calling
Oh my gosh. <laughs> Nothing makes me happier than being able to just swim in my birthday suit. I feel like that's how it should be. Like, why are we so weird about our bodies? I didn't go fully under yet because I was taking photos and I wanted the curls in my hair. But now that I'm done taking photos, I'm probably gonna find a more secluded spot because I think it's gonna start to get busy. So this is very open right now, but this is where the sun is. Very cold, but so worth it. That just made me so excited for summer. That was my first swim of the year. Well, I swam yesterday with my friend, but this spot was my first swim of the year. And I mean, <laughs> just look at it. It's just so stunning here. And this is what makes van life worth it. Like there's a lot of downsides to this lifestyle, but ultimately this is why I do it and I'm always reminded when I go back to nature. This video honestly didn't flow as well as my other ones did and I actually redid it a bunch of times. The intro changed a lot and like what I felt like I wanted to share and how to really put it into words so it makes sense and it's relatable. Um, everything I'm feeling right now is quite hard to admit to myself, yet alone make a video about, but at the end of the day, I'm proud of myself for just keeping at it and being honest with myself and you and yeah, I don't know. I feel like I have a bit more purpose in this moment right now and it feels really amazing. So thank you for joining me as always and watching and I'll see you in the next video. Also, I went thrifting the other day and I found the most perfect pair of corduroy pants. The color, the cut, the style, the fit, everything. <laughs> like. Come on. Come on.